In the weeks since the swap, Sue has taken charge. I was fixing to get some supper started, and I didn't get through with the windows on this side. Would you mind doing them for me? No problem. Thanks. She's more demanding of help now than, than just like, will, will you please help me? It's more like clean the kitchen. I do feel a little more assertive than I did beforehand. I've been cooking dinner a lot for my mom. She took it home from work and dinner will be prepared, and she's really excited about that. I believe since the swap, the girls do have uh, a better appreciation for me. Nancy has gone back to college, and Jeff has found a way to reduce his daughter's credit card bills. Just seeing someone have a little bit more control of their kids, and you know that, that kind of made me start thinking a little bit. And in the Elliott household, there have been some even bigger changes. Since the swap, my parents are a lot more chilled out, and I love it. She let us keep the cell phones. The kids now get an allowance, but they couldn't keep their TVs. We went out and traded in her TV for the MP3 player. <laughs> it's cool having an MP3 player. I like it. You just know how to work it, don't you? Javier the same way. The other thing he wanted instead of the television was an electric scooter. He's been riding that thing like crazy ever since. They learn negotiations real fast. Yes. <laughs> I didn't want them to feel as though, OK, as soon as I come home, everything goes back to where it was. You know, I wanted them to also learn from this experience and let them know that we all have learned from this experience. And Carl is looking for a new career so he can spend more time with his kids and his wife. That time apart kind of really gave me a lot of soul searching since the swap. You know, how would life be without Shelly? And uh, I wouldn't trade her for the world. 